hey guys today i'll be reviewing my guider capsule fountain pen in this red, beautiful red ebonite so this is the capsule model it comes in you know pretty simple packaging this brand is an old brand which is based in andhra pradesh in india so yeah it comes in uh, normal you know letter what do you call it letter envelope with the guide up pens you know information right here if you want to contact them how i got this pen was through you know contacting the owner mr rao i i think through whatsapp and we exchanged a lot of messages and i finalized the pen and he shipped it to me and the service and the communication was pretty good and fast so that was not a problem so this is the presentation box which the pen comes in not the greatest packaging you know pen comes like this so yeah not the greatest but for what you pay i don't mind so this is the pen as i said in red ebonite and it, this is quite a big pen let me just compare it to the lamy safari as you can see it's quite long and the girth as well so this is a clipless version as you can see the one disadvantage is that if you keep it on a desk it might roll but i haven't had this fall twist the cap open takes quite a few turns so if you are on right you want to draw this pen quickly and right that might be a hassle comes with this guide on it yeah guide of fine india gold colored nib and an ebonite feed you can upgrade the nib to a schmidt german nib and obviously it's going to cost you a little bit more i did not upgrade it and i regretted that cuz this nib is just horrible it was very scratchy dry I just tuned it a little bit, smoothed it out a little bit, but it still needs work. The thing that I love most about this pen is the section, which is you know a very good shape with this flare out, really comfortable. You can hold the pen on the section or even on the barrel, as you can see. It's still quite long, and you can you know really express yourself by holding it on the barrel. It, this is an eye dropper fill pen so holds a good amount of ink and yeah that's about it about the pen the finish is good but there are a few you know scratches and marks from when because these are handmade pens on the lathe you find some you know spots on the pen and the ebonite too is a little bit pitted but you know that's all fine gives character to the pen i feel so yeah that's about it let me just show you conical it's not it doesn't feel like a pen feel like a you know stick you are holding and i like that it's something different in the collection so yeah now let me just quickly give you a writing sample so this is the oh I was shaking the pen a lot so as you can see the ink just you know bubbled out but it normally doesn't I don't know what's the problem let me just check yeah now it should be fine so let's just start as you can see straight away It's fine. That's the actually this thing right here was the first time I experienced, and so yeah, never experienced that before with this pen at least. Let me just you know drop this a little bit. So guide capsule, capsule, and this is not the exact nib which I got it out out of the box. As I said, I've tuned it a little bit. So yeah, capsule. Ebonite, and if you are wondering, I got this pen for eight hundred Indian rupees, which is about you know two hundred 
12 to 15 US dollars so not a whole lot for an ebonite pen which is handmade and actually it feels good in the hand too so 800 Indian rupees is quite a good price so let me just write something so yeah wetness it's quite wet not the wettest though flexibility a little bit but the nib gives a lot of feedback when you get it so you might want to upgrade to a schmidt nib so yeah that's about it thank you for watching bye